I just don't know where this could lead to. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really excited about being on The X Factor, obviously, but, you know, everybody's just going through so much emotions, it's hard to explain, really, but... Your hair's all blonde now. Have you had the makeup? Oh, it's yet? black underneath here. Like the front bit's blonde and the black back's black. <laughs> so I switched it around. Oh, I was like, is this the makeup stage already? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I look that good? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we watched last night all that stuff about boot camp. Can you yeah. talk us through that a little bit? Just explain what on earth is going on there. <laughs> I think everybody's a bit like shocked about the new stage of boot camp. Um, obviously the same process applies in the first stage, you know, you get put in a group of three and you have to learn a song, etc. And then obviously there's a chair stage and um, basically you sit, get to sit on one of six chairs and uh, if you're through, you get to sit on the chair and if not, you have to go home. But just because you're on one of those chairs, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're safe. So obviously, you know, sitting on one of those chairs, me being me, I was sitting there enjoying every single performance because everybody's so talented. But at the same time, as soon as they stop singing, it's like, okay, reality check. I could be going home, I could get swapped. So it's a bit like, oh God. Is that like a little bit mean? I think it's a bit mean. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> it's awful. You know, as a as a viewer, if I was sitting watching X Factor in my house, you know, in my gym jams and stuff, I'd probably be like, yes, come on, get in there. But obviously, I'm a contestant, so it's really nerve-wracking. It's like you're putting your life in somebody else's hands right now. And, you know, it could all be taken away just like that. And how is that dynamic? Because obviously they put you on purpose in such fierce competition with each other. How do you still manage to be mates like behind the scenes? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we all still manage to like not be, you know, bitching, especially the girls category as well. It's it's really fierce. Um, everybody's really close behind the scenes. We're all just like, you know, we're all cool with each other. I think certain certain at certain times we can be like, you know, examining one another or who's my biggest competition, you know, but nobody ever says anything. <laughs> It's kind of natural, isn't it? Because you want it so much, and that's yeah. your competition. But mm. you still want to be nice. Yeah, it's so, so true. It's true. And you've got Nicole, haven't you? Yeah. I love Nicole Scherzinger. Yeah, so do it's I. It's a dream. <laughs> what were you expecting from her, and then what sort of reality of hanging out with her? Um, she's so Nicole is so cute. She's feisty. She's ballsy. She knows when business time is about to happen and when fun time is going to happen, you know. Um, and she also has a lot of respect for us as individuals, not just as her category, do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, Nicole's lovely. She's such a nice woman and, you know, she's funny, she's stylish, she's everything. She's the best mentor that the girls could get. When I interview her, I find myself fancying her a bit. <laughs> You're not the first person to say that. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my god. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. And you know the funniest thing is, like, when I used to watch X Factor a few years back, I used to look at her and think, wow, she's so tall. But she's actually just a bit taller than me. <laughs> and I'm only five foot one, so <laughs> And because you're obviously hanging out there at boot camp while she's going through like personal stuff, like a breakup, mm -hmm. did you become more like sort of gal pals? Like yeah, I mean, obviously, the, the whole situation with her and Lewis, it wasn't talked about. I just look at her as our mentor um, and a friend as well. But, um, yeah, obviously, you know, we feel, we feel her, uh, you know, her heart. <laughs> you know, but you know what? You, got, you win some, you lose some, don't you? Yeah, that's men for you. <laughs> Psh, <laughs> Because she's so expressive, isn't she? And so emotional. Yeah. Like I've heard there's a lot of tears in the girl boot camp. Yeah, there has been so much tears from me, Hannah, Jade, everybody. Jade's a very strong character and I've seen her get emotional at times. So I know that's how I know this competition's really, really tough. <laughs> how have you developed through what you've been to so far? Any techniques to not cry? Um, <laughs> I've tried every trick in the book to not cry. But nothing seems to work because at the, at the last minute, you know, it will all come out when you least expect it. So, no, there's no specific technique to not cry. <laughs> not at all. And how are you feeling going forward? How confident are you? Do you feel emotionally strong enough to get through this? Um, 
it is an emotional roller coaster, so I wouldn't be able to say if I was strong enough or not. But you know, if I just be myself and stay positive, <laughs> then that will get me through, hopefully. And there's a lot of positivity for you on Twitter. You're talking about songs you could do, seeing what they like about you. What's like your dream song, your dream performance that you'd love to do going forward? Um, at the moment, I've been thinking of doing Jimmy Cliff many rivers to cross because i really love that tune and you know like if you go to birmingham you see so many people like on a night out like <laughs> it sounds really bad <laughs> with a beer in the hand like yeah singing jimmy cliff many rivers and you know that's what brought it up i thought hmm i might sing that for you know if i get free to just has i might sing that so yeah that's in, in mind at the moment that would be a song that i'd love to sing and how much control do they let you have do you reckon like from the call be like sing this no, not at all. Like we, I, I'd say it's a fifty-fifty thing. Like we, some most of the time we're given a selection of songs to choose from. So if we see something we like on there, then it's thumbs up from there. So yeah. And have you got to hang out with the other judges? Because like I think Sharon is the best fun. <laughs> I love Sharon and Louis. Like I've got this thing called uh, a glam and glam dad. And um, that's my new name for Sharon and Louis because, like, I just formed a bond with them from day one and I just, just love them, man. I love them. <laughs> They're fun, aren't they? Like, they've got a filthy sense of humor. <laughs> no, you got to love Shaz and Louis, man. You just got to, like, obviously they're, they're a bit older but they're wiser and a lot of the comments that they give me, I take it on board. You know, when people say respect your elders, it's very true. So I always, you know, take everything that they say on board. So far from like all of the judges, what is perhaps the best piece of advice you've been given? Mm, best piece of advice? Um, probably from Nicole. Nicole said to, um, just, you know, not let the nerves get the best of me sometimes, because sometimes I get really excited. If I know that I've, I've, I'm doing well like while singing, I can get a bit excited sometimes. But she said, don't let that turn into nerves. Do you know what I mean? Your hand starts going like this. You've got to actually keep a lid on your own excitement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just down a notch, just down a notch, you know. And can you tell us one thing about the whole expected experience that's quite surprised you? the chair situation because we only got told about that like a, a day before so nobody expected it so when we got told it was like oh my god is this really happening tomorrow <laughs> yeah that's the biggest surprise definitely and what's the fun thing about you that your fans like that you've gathered so far might not know about you um i uh have a fear of black toilets <laughs> I told Caroline Flack she was laughing, she's in hysterics. But um, yeah, I don't like black toilets. Obviously, I'm a housekeeper, so that's really weird. But <laughs> I don't like them. You know, when I was six years old, um, my nan took me to one of her friend's houses, and uh, the toilet juice was uh, very high. <laughs> and my little bum nearly fell all the way in there, and I was like, what the hell, man? This is not supposed to happen. But yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, that, I don't like that. That's a harrowing <laughs> story. Good <laughs> God. Poor little child. <laughs> legs will be out. And I was reading this morning, apparently at one point you auditioned for Amy Winehouse. Um, yeah, it was a really good experience being like 17, 18, you know, having that exposure as well. It was brilliant. I didn't get to speak to Amy personally, but there was a point in the competition where we got to sit down and ask her anything that we wanted. So I asked her, um, what's your, what inspires you to, when you write songs? And she said, just, you know, everything and anything can inspire you as an artist. So yeah, that's something that's lived with me, you know, God rest her. And speaking of other artists, is there anyone that you would absolutely love to work with, like your dream collaboration? Um, definitely Nicole at some point now that she knows who I am. <laughs> um, Mary J, because she's one of my idols. She is one of my idols. Um, Love and Hill, a lot of UK artists like Labyrinth, um, Tiny Temper, you know, loads of urban artists too. James Arthur too. Oh my gosh, I heard his song yesterday. I was like, yeah, vibes, just vibes. 
And finally, obviously now, they're about to throw you onto the showbiz scene. Trust me, you'll be at all sorts of parties. <laughs> is there any like, famous person that you just love to catch up with and have a good gossip with? Or anyone you think is pretty fit? Um, I'd love to go out for a drink with Dermot because, simply because, off the, like, off the cameras, he is a legend. He, he always like makes everyone feel so welcome. Do you know what I mean? If you've met him, you would know he's just such a nice guy. Yeah. And in fact, I've got to ask, are there any of the other contestants that you think is quite fit? Um, I think Code 4 are kind of hot still, yeah. I actually went to college with one of the guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went to college with um, one of the guys from uh, Code 4. Yeah, he's, he's lovely though. They're all lovely, but I think, yeah, as a group, they're really hot. Is went to college a euphemism or did you just go to college with him? No, I just, <laughs> I just went to college with him. <laughs>